we are back at this thing. Our plan is still in the back of the car. We gotta finish up that tail pan and we're gonna try to make our bumper brackets. I think that's gonna be the goal. I think first round though, we're gonna have to just finish welding this all up. Then we can kind of hammer dolly this thing a little bit. Cause I did a couple little extra oomphs over here, kind of boogered it up, but I want to get that done. We've got to get the inner structure so we can bolt the fender to something and fix up the fenders in the back here. And we're going to clean these up. Uh, I think I'm going to show you what our plans are for my tail light. They are, I don't know where or what they are. I think they're thirties Dodge, but I don't know for sure. These are them. I bought, uh, I don't know, at a garage sale? No, I think when I bought that, that 20s Pontiac way back, a fella had a whole bunch of Dodge stuff. They were kind of doing a garage sale or something. So, I feel a set of those things back here are gonna look awesome. I don't know, you can't see the good profile there. There we go, something like that. These are them. I think those will look great. I got a couple sets, some glass. We got a good window frame for the car yet. Got these a while back, but. Anyways, we're gonna finish this all up. We're gonna get these mocked up in here, get them sorted out. And see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I wanna put the bumper on here. I do need the bumper, or want the bumper in the back. Only because this back of the car, when it's on the ground, is actually up in the air. So I think when the bumper's on, the bumper will actually touch. At least that's the thought. <laughs> then we'll have to do some braces but those are going to be later we got to do these and roll the fenders a little bit unless i can do an offset wheel or something but uh, that's that's future problems task at hand let's uh let's get started on the back here finish welding this up and finish the bottom we don't have that thing looking nice over there yet
Well, these didn't turn out too bad. Still got a drill and tap so I can bolt something in there, but. Oh, I forgot to grind one spot. <laughs> got a little bit of the inner. We got to work on some of the other stuff, but we're just trying to go for the overall shape right now. So we got these going. Next, this back is not terrible up here. Like I say, I got to do a bunch of uh, hammer dolly work here yet because this has got a little bit of a, a slope to it. So I'll have to get in there at a pick and just kind of poke it out a little bit. This here is the same. Like I think once I hammer dolly this, this is a wee bit low, but uh, I don't know. I think she'll be fine when we start hammering up. Under here is just, eh, it's not perfect, but you know what? That is going to be like so low to the ground. Not relevant. I won't worry myself over it. All right. Uh, well, I won't worry about the hammer dolly a bit, but we do got to work the fenders. Um, I got to do a bunch of welding and some patchwork on that fender, but uh, I think we'll bolt them back up again. And uh, we're gonna slice and dice and get the fender up following the body line like it's supposed to. And then uh, we can tack it together. Then I can take it off. I can finish welding that patch. I can make a fix over there. And I think that's really all that fender needs. And then, well, the back part. <clears throat> the same goes for this fender over here. Well, this one doesn't have any rot, but you can see how this fender curls in curves in so somewhere around here just actually has a straighten out it's got to straighten out and it's got to come up so we'll bang on these things here for a little bit and uh, try to cut and slice and dice and get them up to where they're supposed to be and then I think yeah we gotta do a little bit of work inside you can see there's no uh, this brace is kind of buggered so once we get the fender up where it's supposed to be we can make a newer inner piece that's the plan
about an hour-ish later. <laughs> Here's where we're at. Uh, we got the little patch done here. There still needs some structure work in behind, uh, just because there's supposed to be a wire on the bottom. And I might tip and do a piece of uh, like angle and buzz that in just because these things just get killed. At least me for dirt roads, it just slaughters this. Like you gotta be realistic about this. I drive a lot of dirt roads, so there's not much you can do other than this thing is gonna get stoned to crap underneath there. Uh, I know folks that have done the Rhino line. They've done a lot of those and they still, the stuff still happens, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, but anyways, we did an angle. We got this fitting okay. Like I want this to transition. I still really would like to weld the fenders because they would get rid of this seam, but I don't know what the big picture is gonna, that's gonna do. <laughs> if it'll crack or not. It's just, it would be nice and this thing could be smoothed out nicely. That's the uh, idea. So we don't have like a flap in there. We don't got a gap. I still really on the fence would love to do that, but we'll see. For now, what I want to do is just this. It's got this little transitional hump that'll just kind of go away and then it just kind of boom, blows in underneath. So we got that done. Had a tiny little crack here. So we've buzzed that up. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Still gotta do the lights. We gotta take the fender off. We still gotta weld on top here a little bit. And then the backside, uh, we gotta tie in the two the two halves from my new piece that I made has to tie in with the bottom and the lower part up here. So we'll have to boog that all together. Anyways, that is pretty good. A mm, little bit of work there, but that's okay. So we'll finish that up. I got to pull the fender off for that. We're going to commence over onto this side. We'll do the bit the same thing. This one's nicer shape, so I'm hoping I can just do a slice, pull this over, because I think all the inner guts are good. Yeah, like it's got the inner guts. We might add a little more to it, but anyways, we can do a slice, push this into the other panel, make a little filler, and I think we'll be okay on this side. I think this side will work out a lot nicer and easier than that side. I think that one's just because I had the two bottoms that were different, so I had to slice and dice them to make them fit. Anyways, this one we gotta get up into place. Oh yeah, that'll be easy, that one.
Well, you can see why I wasn't too concerned with the bottoms. <laughs> Any angle you look at, you're gonna have a hard time seeing that. Anyways, looks pretty killer with the roll pan. I think it will look good with the bumper. Unfortunately, my brackets are really tweaked and I don't have any gas for my torch. Uh, the bumper itself was pretty tweaked, but that thing's not very strong. It's pretty flimsy, so it was very easy to bend it back to what shape it was supposed to be in, which means it's probably a very, a cosmetic bumper, let's put it that way. Um, I might try, see if I can beat that bar into shape so I can get it back into the bolt hole there. And then uh, I guess I'll have to hunt and try to find some bumperettes like the front because they look pretty cool on there. But so anyways, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to try that right now or I think so. I also have to address, I'm noticing, I don't know if it's just the difference in fenders or I just don't have a mounted right. I'm not going to fuss too much yet, but the uh, distance from the fender off the ground this side, and this is the one I cut, but not all of it. So whatever it is there and then this side there's a bit of a difference on them so i'm not sure what's going on there i like this one better because it is lower kind of does swoop i can't get i can barely get my boot under this one barely and this side i can get my boot under it so i don't know what's going on there i'll have to look at that so i guess first task i'm going to just see if i can beat these bars in place because I'm just going to turn this over, put something on there, and beat that with a hammer because I have no way to heat this stuff up right now. If I can, then I think we're going to figure a way to pocket this so we can stab the bumpers in there. Um, and kind of set wherever it's got to go, off the ground, on the ground, kind of whatever. That is, that's the idea. I might have to wait. Maybe I won't do the bumper. Only being that I'm not sure where the front is at. And you know, they kind of have to sit the same front and back. So in my eyes, although I guess I could just loosey goosey, just stick them into the holes and see what happens with the front bumper. See, look how big the, the bumperettes are underneath there. I don't know if I have to take them off just so I can get it the same as the backside or we space it off the ground in the back and then we, we figure things out. That might be the way we go. We'll space it that way and that I think is going to be similar to the front. I don't know for sure yet. This front clip is not squared in there. Oh yeah, that's all right. Judging by this, that bumper will be off the ground, which is cool and kind of lame. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna mock this up quick. I gotta get the front cl clip kind of squared, left to right, but we'll see how high the center is off the ground. And then uh, we will mirror that over into the back here. I think that's the plan. Oh yeah. Hey, this look is gonna be good. That is gonna look good. As soon as I can figure out where to put that thing. <laughs>
I tried mocking up my lights and then I realized all my lights are for the driver's side or left or the passenger side. I don't know. They're all the same, which is like a huge bummer. You can see it either mounts like that or if I mount on the passenger side, there's two ways I'm thinking of either doing it. Unfortunately, this bottom is going to put a hampering into all of that, but hey, whatever. We'll figure it out. A, we can go up here, which looks pretty cool, I think. Like it'll, I got the bolts in, so I can't. But anyways, we'd mount it up there. The other one is, I think it would look good, because it almost looks too narrow, would be on the fender, which then would stick it out a little bit. So I'm kind of mixed on that. Uh... Not that that matters, we don't have two of the same end. So, I was looking at possibly casting. I don't even know how I'd go about to make that reversed, so. We got this, we can make the pieces. And uh, I guess we'll build a steel bottom that's similar. At least that's my thought. I at least know what shape it's supposed to be. Unfortunately, I won't build. <laughs> It's gonna make it hard. We'll figure it out, but uh, that's like a whole other project, so I don't think I want to play with that now. Boo. <laughs> oh well. At least the car looks cool sitting on the ground. At least it's got a pan in the back. That's a little better. Too bad I can't get the bumper on. I guess I could make new bits out of some strapping, but it's there. I kind of shoehorn that sucker back in place. Yeah, look at the back of that thing, eh? <whistles> Fancy. Oh, well. I guess this is where I'm going to leave this one. I got to hit the city, get some gas for my torch so we can fix our bumper brackets. I am going to have to do a build on trying to make those taillights brackets. We got to deal with that. But uh, I don't know what we're going to do next. Maybe we'll start looking at the front sheet pedal, kind of getting it mounted, maybe? I don't know. I think that I may as well get started with that, I guess, eh? Anyways, a little bit of a shorter video, I guess, but, uh, yeah, I think I'm done. <laughs> Need to take a break. I uh, want to thank you all for watching, and uh, we will catch you on the next one. Later.